Welcome back to episode 4 of the Orange Stage 5 Dream Build. And here is the shock fork that I've chosen for this build. I have gone for a Recon Silver SL. Now this is a 130 travel. And that probably would be good enough for the bike, but the reason why I've chosen this shock is because there's a neat little trick you can do, and it's pretty easy. There's no problems with doing it. It's straightforward. Because this is a 130 shock, as I say. But by simply removing a spacer inside the damper, you can turn this shock in from a 130 to a 150 travel. Why wouldn't you do it? It's really simple, straightforward. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is to remove the air from the shock. Step two, there is a dampener control. Remove this plug. Set it to one side. Step three, take the Allen key, remove the old bolts. Now the dampener side has a different bolt, so you want to keep that separate and don't confuse them. Don't put the wrong one in the wrong hole. Okay, now you're going to want to knock the stanchions inside, away from the lower legs. Now I like to use a longer bolt for this. I don't use the existing bolts, the original bolts. Just find it easier. Have a longer bolt. I've got more to play with. It just makes the job easier. Just screw them in enough. Just give it a tap, just a relief, just to push that leg inside, up and out the way. Like so. Do this to both sides. And then remove those bolts. This is so easy to do. A nice clean upgrade for no money. Okay, now there's oil in these chambers, so what you want to do, you want to slide this off and set it aside without losing any of the oil that's inside because these are brand new forks. There's no need for me to take this oil out of here, no need for me to replace it. Just do it nice and slowly, nice and gently, and you can just drop it off without losing any oil. Nice. And then you're left with the fork innards. So this side is the air damper. And you can see there's no air in there. I've removed all the air so there's just static pressure in there. So you take your spanner. It's a 24 mil. You can use a socket. But I find a spanner is just as easy. Just remove this upper nut. Once you've got that unscrewed, you should be able to slide out the whole damper. No, it's not a damper, it's the air shock. Slide it out the whole air shock. And then slowly twist the end, the top cap off. Set that to one side. Again, making sure you don't lose any of the oil on there. Because the point of doing this is so you haven't got to add any oil or any butter or anything. Once you've done that, slide out the lower and set the cylinder to the side. On here you've got a series of bumpers and spacers and what you need to do is just slide off the end cap, set on the one side, making sure you don't get the o-rings dirty or twisted or just keep it clean. And then here 
this is your spacer. Now, in RockShox's own manual, it says that these are optional. And that's, as you can see, is a 20 mil spacer. So if I remove that, when this shock is then repressurized, without that spacer, it's going to push it out an extra 20 mil. So there is where you get your from your 130 to your 150, and it's an easy upgrade. That there is your dead stop bumper. So if you ever bottom your forks out, that's what it hits, and that's what saves it from being damaged or broken. So now you've removed your spacer set that to one side you're never going to need that again and you want to put this end cap back on slide that up to the other end get your cylinder slide it back in make sure it goes home and see it doesn't twist your o-ring keep your o-rings clean and then the top cap again just slides in keep it clean don't get it dirty and there you go that's now reassembled. You can slide that back into your fork, tighten it down. Okay, once you've done that, You want to get your lowers about the same level. That just makes it easier for you to put the, put the lower legs on. Okay, remembering that there's oil in the bottom of these. Keep them level. Don't let it drip out. And that saves you having to replace it. Because again, these are brand new forks. There's no need. There's enough oil in them already from the manufacturer. So just slide these back on the uppers. To a dead stop. So you can feel inside there those lower shafts are actually in contact now with the bottom of the lo lower legs. And then you can put your bolts back in. Obviously making sure to keep the, the dampener side separate from the shock side. These are separate different bolts. Okay, screw them in till they stop. And then you're going to need to grab your torque wrench. Somewhere here I've got the right size Allen head socket. Okay, set your torque wrench to seven Newton meters. And then just make sure these bolts are torqued to the correct spec. Seven Newton meters or 65 foot pound. Okay, reinstall your, your dampener control arm, that just pops in. Just make sure it's free and easy to move and rotate. And then, recharge your shock with the correct pressure. So I'm going to take these up to about 80 psi and that should be enough and you'll see the shock extend once I get near there there we go and that's your extra 20 mil travel you can see there the shocks are much longer now I take that up to 70, 80 psi. 
We're good. Good to go. 70 PSI will be enough. And that is an easy, free upgrade to take your shocks from 130 to 150. Thanks for watching.